let's take a look at this trunk right here. We like this, right, Jenna? We do. It's really pretty. I think 40s, 1940s. Let me come around. Don't miss the shot, because this could be really exciting. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I've sorted the best of the best. We could all go away. Tomorrow we start over. To see what we really pulled out of this locker. Alright, locker nuts, we are back at the unit Saturday morning. I've had a good morning. Dump. <laughs> Auctions believe it or not Saturday morning auctions at my secret spot didn't buy anything it was all garbage, but um, Now I'm here and about to get this stuff. So this is not too much compared to what I had yesterday This is nothing. I'm gonna load the trailer and get ready for the flea market tomorrow I'm going to church tonight All right, you guys, so that's what the load looks like right there. Not too bad um, It's a full trailer, but of course <laughs> I've had it. I've had it twice as full before so um, but yeah, decent load, and I got a few things in here. So we're gonna save that military bag and the chest, the trunk, for, um, we're gonna open that in a little bit. I haven't looked in those, excuse me. I also haven't opened this garbage bag right here, but I did peek in there, and uh, it kinda stinks. So it looks like clothes, it kinda stinky. I'm gonna open those at the flea market, and uh, if I see anything vintage, I'll pull it out and save it, but all this is going to, flea market tomorrow pretty exciting all right you guys so we saved the best two what I think are the best two we're gonna see right for last and actually I'm gonna save that one for last last okay so let's take a look at this trunk right here we like this right Jenna we do it's really pretty I think 40s 1940s yeah, I think you're right and lay in it it's a uh, oh lane lane is that lane furniture like yeah I think so classic lane in Virgin is that Virginia yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. I was looking at the thing. I didn't even really pay any attention to what's inside. Uh, okay. Bud Light coasters. Um, I wonder if those are vintage or something. Could be. We'll look them up. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope, right? This is obviously not vintage. Vintage. Um, uh, I found 18 teapots. I should probably get the garbage can over here. It's uh, looking like garbage. Some garbage. This is all like leftovers from when you buy your cell phone, all the. Yeah. Okay, so what else we got in here? Wacky, Wacky cats. cats. Alright, catnip. Our cat would probably like that, but we're not gonna do that to her. Catnip. Catnip. She's a cat lover. Yep, she was. And Lena was just by here, so. Kenny Chelsea. Oh, I saw him in concert. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dollar. And uh, some stickers for 95.7 The Wolf. The envelope looks like she got one a freebie from the radio station or something. Cool. Oh, and here's a, she keeps her prized possessions in the plastic <laughs> bins here. Socks. And quality sockage. And she, she did this before with the other socks too. And there's no money in them. Which I'm still hoping someday I find. Uh, this is Carrie's room. That was her name. Okay, we've got a bunch of manuals here. Shout out to Manuel, our friend. Different spelling. We love Manuel. Yeah, Manuel's got some good videos coming out. Uh, paints. Oh my goodness. This is not, not what I was hoping. Box. Stamps. stamps. Ooh, stamps. You do? Well, I used to. They're fun. Oh boy, oh boy. This is a low end. Oh, I see a poker game. Poker games. Alright, you guys. That's it. There's a bunch of mail. Is it female, like neat letters, or like bills? It's junk mail. I've sorted through so much of her junk mail already that I can almost smell it. Junk mail. What is the bottom saying? Pressure tested for... Aroma. Aroma tightness here. Cool. Tightness here. Oh, look at this. I saw this on the bottom when I was loading it. The casino card. She likes her gambling. Um, there's like a plug here. 
See yeah. that? Yeah. I think you open it and it like, I don't know, loosens pressure, it? Yeah. yeah, let's like air through or something. All it's right, like a we'll plug be, on the bottom. Yeah, we'll we'll box. Important docks. Okay, this is... Okay, let's get this out and drive me crazy. Something, right? Okay. I'm going to have to sit down for this. Come here. What's this? There's Jack. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Oh. <laughs> what is it? These are drug bags. Not real. I found a bunch already. You did? Yep. Two other stashes like this. Not in envelopes, in like little wooden boxes. Two two spots we found. Mm. The druggie. Druggie druggies. Those are all empty though, but I don't. Oh, here's some more. Look at that. Mm. I think it's cocaine. There's a razor too. I think it's cocaine. Mm. Yeah. That's, That's a nice little box though, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty. Cool. Yep, yeah, that is sad. It makes me so sad. Every yeah. time we see swords, why are there so many drugs in them all? Oh, more drugs. Oh my gosh. Pills. Razor blades. So sad. Dang it, I saw this stuff in here, I thought, okay, maybe there is some good in here. Mm -hmm. I mean... Oh my... Oh, another razor. That's a pipe. Look at... It's just a pipe. Mm. Uh, there's lots of razor blades. Whoa, there's a lot of paper, plastic bags in there. Mm. Right? Look at that. Oh, this is... That's the most I found. The other stash didn't have that many. Mm. Like, I don't know, like, if you were doing drugs, like, hardcore drugs, right? Ah, more. Oh my gosh, why do you save the bags? That's I what I was going to say, like, <gasps> what's that, some Mary Jane? Mm. Ooh, look at that lighter. Let's not show that. Like that. Little package. Okay. Little package, do not stop it, please. Got a couple of pipes in there. Let's get a confirmation. This doesn't even smell good. This is catnip. No, it's not catnip. It's just old weed. Like it's turned bad. All right, well, maybe it's tobacco. Wacky tobacco. Mm. What's with the mirror? Chop, 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 chop. That's what it's for. Mm. Dang it. Oh, and then this tray. Mm -hmm. That's she's like, you know, it's a tray to hold the drugs so you don't spill it. Mm. So, well, this is a drug box. Mm. Hmm. I don't like drug box. Yep. It says important docs on it. <laughs> okay. All right. We still got one more chance for romance here. All right. Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see. What does everyone think about what you're... Look at how it has, like, the cool inlay wood. I wonder what everyone thinks of this price would be for this. It needs to be cleaned up a little on the sides. Yeah. Looks like it was, like, in the water or something. My feet hurt. Why? Because you've been working hard. I was there almost 12 hours yesterday to clean this thing out. Is it super clean? It is now. <laughs> okay, guys, you want to stand up for this? Sure. This, this could get exciting. All right. Yeah, we got a little bin here so we can put stuff in. As I can see in here, and it doesn't look military, unfortunately. See that? Mm -hmm. But what um, branch was she in? Navy. Navy. This is a uh, Noah's Ark. Never heard of it. Me neither. There's a towel. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be such an exciting journey. <laughs> a dirty sweat? Oh yep. my gosh, show them the front of that. I think it's nothing. Almost everything's been in this level of stain. But that's an old gap sweater. I know, that is old, huh? That's too bad because that would be super killer for um, a cream cable knit for um, Alameda. But I think they can get that stain out. You think? Yeah. They use that OxyFresh or whatever, OxyClean? OxyClean. Not my wash machine. Yeah, we're not in the washing machine. That's a decent tail. Mm. Oh, found some military items. One military sock. That's huh. good, right? Military issue. Military issue. Jeez, these are like rats. It's important to be paying that every month. Hmm, it doesn't look any better in here. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let's dump it out. Okay. okay. I'm going to get this action right here. Let me come around. Don't miss the shot, because this could be really exciting. You ready? Ready. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Dirty towels. Oh, fatigues. Oh, okay. 
we did get a little more interesting. All right, see that? Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, huh? It's a nice jacket. This is, this is, look at it. It's a military issue. 3840, that's like a small medium. That's what I am, right? Sure, when I met you. <laughs> <laughs> when I graduated high school. <laughs> Oh man, that's a warm jacket. You're really gonna put that on? Yeah. There's no mice in there anymore. Hmm. I'm not gonna say a word. I um was stacking the boxes. It's a good color on you. <laughs> Fits great. I'm gonna get down to my fighting weight. <laughs> Arguing weight? <laughs> like debate weight. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Oh, suck it in. Yeah, I can do it. Come on, I can't see it though. I can't see it and zip it at the same time. It's like an Olympic event. This is bumming me out. Why? Because I should be able to get this off. <laughs> I don't think this is happening, people. I don't think it's going to happen. It's okay, honey. Just take a pass on it. All right. Look at this. Is that thumbnail? Uh, it looks, the color looks great on you, actually. I'll tell you one thing about mil. I think I just pulled my back. I think military. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, it actually really hurt. I don't know what I just did. Uh, Look at the lining on this, that. Sucker. Nothing is made like this military. I know. Clothing. It's so well this made. This stuff isn't made to last forever. Where's it made at? If you uh, don't mind me asking. Yeah, I don't have the glasses. So. <laughs> the glasses. Do not dry clean cotton nylon. It doesn't say. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah. All right, so um, I see some more okay. camo. Camo is big right now. It's a bigger size, huh? Another military issue. This is nice too. It's is that a, a 3840? I don't know. That one looks a little bigger. I was just kidding. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. Uh, okay. This could mil be military too, since yeah. maybe. Yeah. yeah, it is. Nice. Oh, that's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. It's got some stains here, but I think those that's will come okay. out. It's just cool. And these are probably military We sell the military well. stuff pretty well. Actually, this is like our second or third military it's one. It's military, mm -hmm. too. It's like uh, our second or third military one in the last couple months that we've sold a lot of the stuff. Oh, this is a jumpsuit? Oh, yeah. This is a cool. That's 15 bucks right well, there. That's 15 bucks. We just, oh, I don't know. Maybe even more for the green one because it's lighter. The other one was tan. Mm-hmm. That's pretty nice. So we did yeah. find some military gear. That's good because the last time we found a military bag, it wasn't. We didn't find anything military in it, but this time mm. we did. What's that? I don't know. Let's see. Piece of fabric. It's like super stiff. Yeah. It's like curtains. Or... <laughs> I don't even know what that's for. Mm. It's yeah. It's very, very thick, like upholstery or something, mm -hmm. made for seats or something, seat cushion. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but what? You, I think that's it, right? That is it. All right, you guys. Well, that was the action. Tomorrow we'll go on the flea market. We're going to choose which of these we're going to pull out to go to that flea market. And But we still have three. We have two big bins and one small bin of all the cherry pick stuff. So we'll go through that and we'll figure out what the values are and what we're going to eBay and what we'll let go if it's cheaper. And we'll summarize all that for you so you can see what the good stuff was. Some of it I didn't even get on camera because I was so tired last night. So. Jewelry, good old stuff, military, it's good stuff. All right, you guys, we're back at the house. I've sorted the best of the best. All the low-end stuff's on the trailer, ready to go to the flea market tomorrow. Here's the cream right here. Um, we'll go through it. Some of it's worth some money, some of it's not worth that much. I do have this bin here of better stuff. Actually, two bins. I got that picture right there. I got to figure out what that is. I got all this stuff here, like the Starbucks cup, the shea butter, some vintage tools. A beer stein music box and albums all this stuff is all like twenty dollars and less so i just gonna bring that to a better flea market uh this right here is gonna go to the next antique flea market we got some stones a little bit of uh what do you call it lace some older documents and um these are pretty cool i'm not sure those might be silver this one yeah, that's neat. An old business card holder. A little better stuff for the antique flea market. Got a bunch of junky watches here, which we'll throw five bucks, let people sort them out. 
before we blast them out. But this is the good stuff. Um, so let me show you around. Right here, this is all the, this here is all the jewelry. So we're going to take a closer look at that. I know for a fact there's some gold in here. I did see at least one or two pieces where I could see the stamping. So that's good news. And a little bit here too, and I believe this right here is, maybe it's this one. One of these is silver. I saw 925. This might be silver. So let's take a closer look at all that jewelry in a bit. A couple gift cards. We've got assortment here of some pocket knives and lighters. Because I like to throw those in a bin. Look at this, <laughs> this classy little pin right here. We'll look that up and see if it's gold. But lighters and pocket knives do well at the flea market. I'll find a little bin so we can sort those. This Leatherman right here is worth about between 25 and 30. There's another lighter. We have that nice coin. 1922. It's pretty cool. It's not in the greatest shape, but it is a coin, an old coin. We got three or four bucks here. This old uh, concert ticket from Bill Cosby, 1976. Pretty sweet. Some stamps. Nothing too exciting, but those are good. We'll, we'll use those. This old pen right here with Richard Nixon. I'm not sure what the peach stands for, but uh. Tricky dicky. <laughs> it's funny. Let's see what that is. This uh, it says Harley Davidson on it. I figured that out afterwards. That's kind of cool. And here's another piece of another jewelry box here. This is um, this is indeed a, a very old holster for kids. It says right here Wagon Train. I think that's the name of the toy line. Uh, may it pertain to a TV show. This leather. It's pretty cool. Surprisingly. Not a lot of value. This necklace I put aside only because these necklaces are so, are hot all of a sudden. The kids are buying those up. So we'll bring it to the flea market, sell it for probably seven or eight bucks. Um, this thing right here, surprise, surprise. This is maybe one of the more expensive items on the table. And I thought it looked a little different. This right here, used, is going to sell for 50 to 60 bucks. Don't ask me why. It doesn't look like anything super fancy to me, but um, that's the selling price on eBay. This old book right here, I think it's from the 30s. It's 15 bucks. Not a lot of value. We'll bring that to the antique flea market also. I just wanted to show you. Um, these cameras, Minolta's a decent brand, but not big value. This is a generic brand here. It's probably worth five bucks. This one might be 15 online. We're not going to list it. We're just going to blow it out. Ooh, that one's got battery. Uh, this old Sony recorder here. This is, uh, again, probably 15 bucks online. This Walkman, some of these Walkmans fetch big money. This one's about 20 bucks. I don't feel like testing it, so we're going to sell that at the flea market as well. This right here, I probably will list. These are selling for 40 bucks, but this one's expired. Uh, 2014. I don't know what the market is for expired, but at 40 bucks for a newer one on eBay, I'll list it at 25 and see what happens. Of course, I'll make a big deal on the title and everything about it being expired. This piece we showed you before. I just think this is a, just got such a cool look. Can't figure out what that is right there. I have a feeling this is some sort of uh, like is something like that comes in strands that they've laid over with some sort of glue and enamel or something. And um, I have a feeling like maybe it's like it's either intestines or like a muscle tissue or something. I think out of an animal that's been formed into a sculpture. I, correct me what you guys think, all right? But if someone knows for a fact what this is, let me know. Because um, that's a little different. I don't know, it's just something about this piece that really speaks to me. Uh, I kind of like it. This old answering machine right here, just some cool 80s throwback. Uh, of course, when I see this, I remember exactly where our answering machine was in our house growing up. This, still got to crack that open. This old lamp right here, that's what this is, it's a lantern. So the inside of the chamber is completely empty. It's meant to fit a big fat battery. And um, you take this outside and use a lantern. You can sit in here. It illuminates downward. Or you can pick it up like this and shine it outwards. Surprisingly, that's 13 bucks on eBay. I can't believe it. Um, these two pieces here. This is, uh, was this, teak with black walnuts. And this one is, uh, was it, purple heart, I think is the wood. Uh, both by the same artist, this is John Nickerson. Nice pieces. They're pretty current. 
uh, I think one's 2006, one's 2008. This brass belt buckle right here I thought was kind of cool. It's Montana, Big Sky Country, and it's got a date on here. Was it 1976? It's pretty legit. Not big value. Five to ten bucks on eBay. This right here, I don't know what this is. It came in this little fancy box, and um, it's German. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, nor do I know what that says right there. If you guys know what that is, let me know. I almost get the feeling like this is something collectible or expensive. I'm not sure. Because uh, it was with jewelry. or Maybe I just thought it was jewelry, but... Uh, let me know about that if you know. This beer stand right here, 15 20 bucks, not super expensive. So I'll probably bring that to the flea market as well. It's a nice one. It feels nice. This uh, perfume right here, Oleg Cassini uh, for women. This is uh, another one of those perfumes that's out of, out of production, which means it goes for big money. There's one that's filled about right here. About 60% full, sold for 40 bucks. I think this one's going to get us 50 or 60 bucks. Can you guys believe that? Sometimes it's just the craziest stuff that brings the money. Um, here's just a, a dice cup with a bunch of what looks to be vintage dice. Kind of cool. Um, what else we got here? What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay, yeah, we got this mug right here. I didn't look up the stein, actually. But check it out. It's all... Coin. So I'm going to dump that in our coin bin at some point. We'll make a coin star run. Cash them all in for you guys, but that's what we got. This big mug right here. Um, most of the bigger, like these, 50 cent. The bigger ones I uh, threw on, on top. They were just loose. This, I think, has mostly pennies. But, um, I don't know. So anyways, that's our haul here. I'm going to list some of the items on eBay. I'm going to sort the rest into the boxes, depending on which flea market I want to bring them to. Those are those. I do have a bin up here of just standard old stuff that we're going to take to the regular old flea market. This is uh, some other lockers as well that we're mixing in there. Uh, you may see the gun stuff from the br briefcase break-in video I did. I have to bring those gun, par gun cleaning parts out to the flea market. But this is what's got me really excited right here. All this kind of stuff right here. Oh yeah. So um, we're going to take a closer look at that and sort out what we got. That's it for now. Alright, here's what we got left. A whole bunch of glassware, so almost no glassware. We didn't get those dishes out today, but those are going away. These dishes came out, but we hadn't sold them. 25 bucks for that set. This is an old locker. I'd say this uh, new locker didn't sell very good today. Sold a ton of perfumes, that's all the leftovers from the other food market. Sold only 25 bucks of comics today. And uh, it's decent stuff. These, all these Nikes are from a different locker. And we sold a ton of them today. Believe it or not, we got that many left. This all, all this stuff down here is from this locker and there's, it's getting picked down. We had a lot more this morning. This table I didn't get out till just recently. I was hoping to get a hundred bucks on this before asking about it. But this whole side right here is missing the laminate. Maybe that's not going to matter. I can't decide what I want to do with this. It's pretty cool. But, um, see those four chairs right there slip in. It's, it's fairly heavy, but it is self-contained. But getting ready to pack up the good stuff and blow it out. There's Alex over here. The store stalker. There's Mike. And Michaela. Salt Princess and Jasmine over here. Everyone's having fun. Wanna wave, say hi? No? Free sale. Hmm? It took both sets. One guy took one set of China, the other one took the other. Great. Make it all go away. Tomorrow we start over. Alright you guys, I just want to give one last look at this jewelry. I was going to go through it real close and uh, take my time on it and show you on camera. 
But I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to just bring this to the flea market because we have our guy that likes to buy gold and silver. And on this particular batch, you don't see items that really are, that look like really super good that I'm going to want to keep and, and sell. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing wrong here, but... Lately, I've been keeping the better pieces and trying to sell them directly. We've had some luck with that. Uh, whereas before, we were selling basically everything for scrap, even though I know the guy that buys it from us doesn't scrap it. Doesn't scrap all of it. This stuff, however, well, this piece I know is kind of nice. That piece is quite pretty, isn't it? So, maybe I'll save that one. Maybe that one will stay. Um want to give you guys one more look. We did kind of look at this stuff in the locker, but let's take one more look at it just to see if we're getting rid of something that we shouldn't. Oh, that sure looks like gold. I don't know. The other nice thing is that uh, he will go through it all and take the time to figure out what's real and what's not. He does a good job at that. This piece right here I know is gold. But, no, actually, that, I'm not sure about that one. I'm getting them mixed up. There's another one that I'm sure of. Or at least I'm sure that it's marked as gold. That's 14K gold filled. At least that's what the, the container says. This piece right here is 14K. We, look this, we looked at this closer. But it's just a little tiny necklace. This, there's a few pieces there. At least one of those is silver. We'll have him look at that. This, I believe, is silver, but it's not that nice. And then we got these pieces here. Some older stuff. This I thought was pretty groovy. But, you know what? I bought two lockers today. And I got a lot of work ahead of me. So I think I'm going to take this out and see if we can turn some quick cash. A little bit of the good stuff here. We got 14k. That's what we want to be in 14k there. A little bit of a 10k. A little bit of gold filled and some silver. And then this piece right here, which came out of the second locker, is silver. Um, so that's what we're getting here. It's our prices for the gold. A little bit of this 25 for that box and 40 for the bracelet. 250, not bad. All right, guys, so here is the summary. So the cost, we spent 250 bucks on the locker. The tax was $23, so we have 273 into it. Sales are pretty short because we haven't sold that much outside of flea markets. The first day we did about 260 bucks. We sold a perfume dusting powder on eBay. I didn't show that. It wasn't that interesting, but we netted out 25 bucks. The jewelry haul at the flea market got us 210 and then the drop leaf table, I sold that finally for 25 bucks. Took three flea market trips, but we did sell it 25 bucks. Total sales of 520 with a profit of 247 and a return on investment of 90%. All right, we're going to see if we can get the shot here at this funky angle right here. So we can wrap this video up. So not too bad. We made some money. We have a lot of stuff left to sell. So I even hesitate to show you guys a P&L, but... I know you like to see that profit and loss, um, but we have all the vintage stuff that we're saving for the better markets. So, yeah, in the last video I started pushing on him, and he, he's opening up pretty easy. So, I mean, easy for me, not maybe for him, but uh, not a great profit. You know, the jewelry, we still have a lot of jewelry to sell too, but it's not good stuff. It's There's some costume in there, but all the gold and silver is pretty much spoken for at this point. Um, come on now, come on monkey, that's the weird thing to pull out of the bottom of a monkey, so, uh, yeah, but, we got some money in the vintage for sure, so, anyways, you just have to use your imagination to see what we really pulled out of this locker, ah, oh, man, it's mostly pennies, let's keep, keep pooping out some money here, we need this locker to poop out some more money, because, it wasn't worth all the time I put into it. All right, well, that's it. Uh, you can't really see in there, but 
was hoping maybe some bills are floating around there, but there's not. All right, monkey, that was all you got. You got some pennies and a few dimes and nickels, but it doesn't even look like there's vintage pennies here. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, anyways, I'm gonna wrap that video up. So, uh, we prevailed. We made a profit despite all the damage that the mice did on this unit. We pulled off some pretty good vintage stuff. I got a few bins over there of vintage items that we're gonna sell. A couple things listed on eBay, but not that much. But there'll be some money coming out of eBay sales. Also, a few things like the perfume bottle that we're listing for 50 or 60 bucks. We haven't listed it yet, but there is some stuff. And then we've got all the vintage clothes and we're gonna give that a run and see what uh, what gets bought out of those five or six bins of clothes and bags of clothes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, hit me the thumbs up if you like this, uh, this video series that we just did and uh, subscribe if you don't mind and uh, hit the notification button when you want to know when our next video is coming out and we've got a lot more coming out i bought two today so we have like uh four videos that we've i mean four lockers that we have bought over the last four days there's going to be a lot of videos coming up so you guys aren't going to want to miss it all right but until the next one comes out good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on lock and nuts all right you guys we just added the monkey coins to the coin bin that we started and this thing's starting to get kind of heavy. It's not an ideal container though. But I got something better. So the other day I bought a unit basically because I saw one single item in there that I wanted. And there it is. 